reading everyone's comments in my last video and learning a lot more about Vishojo overall, I realized I had more to say regarding them. There is a lot more to this company than I initially thought. We have to discuss their contracts, business practices, who runs the show, their growth, and my hot takes on drama. Will you agree or disagree with me? Well, only way to find out is to keep watching and let me know in the comments below. Before we get into it though, we have to give credit where credit is due to the GOAT once again. Huge congratulations to Iron Mouse for winning VTuber of the Year at the Streamer Awards. Massive W for her being the two-time champ. Not wait for her to keep crushing it this year. And don't forget, please go donate Plasma if you can. First, I want to discuss the business side of things for V Shoujo. I have a lot of experience in my life regarding management, business, and finances, and most importantly, just handling people. I've always thought that the most important aspect of any successful business or management team is how you handle your people. If you take care of them and help them grow, then your business will be successful. V Shoujo handles this in one of the best ways that a talent group can, by letting their talents keep their own IP, channels, and content. And this is something I didn't realize was so huge initially. To me, it seemed like this is just how all talent groups should be. After all, you wouldn't be a talent group without your talent, right? So why wouldn't you try to do what's best for their talent? But I should have realized just from my personal experience with companies that it's very, very, very rare for any kind of company to think this way. And this is why V Shoujo stands out among the rest when it comes to their talents contracts. Now, I am not in any way, shape, or form a professional when it comes to anything contract wise i'm just some dude on the internet talking about virtual anime girls and guys so legally speaking i'm not a professional at all but i do know a thing or two about business the jojo is a talent first agency this means that unlike a lot of the big name talent agencies out there they put their talent first pretty straightforward description of it but the important question is how do they do that as i said before they let their talents own their ips content and channels this gives their talent much more freedom overall along with no added stress or pressure that makes them think they ever split away from v shoujo that they lose whatever they've built up. Anyone who has left Fee Shoujo so far has kept everything, and anyone who will leave in the future will do the same. And yes, random YouTube drama hounds, I will comment on this later in the video and I can guarantee you will not like what I will say. So keep watching. V Shoujo seems to believe that it's more important to be cooperative with your talent and form a true partnership with them rather than dictate what they do. And like I said earlier, I think that this is one of the absolute best ways to manage people. At the end of the day, you can't have your talent agency without your talent, so why would you not cooperate, work with, and take care of them? It just makes sense. Not only do the talent own their own IPs, but they also have a ton of freedom to do as they please. They aren't restricted to set schedules or specific things to stream. Of course, there are times when they have collabs set up or sponsored streams, but those are things that any content creator would still have to deal with, not just the VTuber. I can imagine that the level of freedom they have just alleviates any additional stress that would come from their jobs and makes them more inclined to continue working with V Shoujo in the long run. You may be thinking, how does V Shoujo make any money then? They aren't a public company, so the revenue isn't really available for anyone to see, but it seems like they mostly make money from merchandise, sponsors, and potentially pay from their talent as well. This isn't something I want to say for certain though. Again, this is just assuming, but considering that V Shoujo currently looks like they have about 20 people working for them, not including talent, I'm sure they make enough and treat their employees well. Speaking of their non-talent staff, I think it's time we talk about the boss himself, Justin the Gunrun Ignatio. Gunrun is not new to the content creation sphere at all. He was one of the founding members of a little live streaming website you may have heard of called Twitch. He was one of the people who initially created V Shoujo alongside Philip Mountain Dew Fortunal and Daniel Apex Sanders. We're still with the company. Gunrun being the current CEO, Mountain Dew the CTO, and Apex the COO. Every time I read Apex, I get flashbacks to my time trying to get competitive in Apex. It it, it was a dark time. I don't know much about Mountain Dew or APEC, but I want to look into Gunrun a bit more, especially since every time I hear him mentioned in any of the member streams, it's always positive. Now all bosses are known for Gunrun. Wait, Gunrun son is a boss? Yes. And it was great seeing him at the Streamer Awards alongside Mouse and helping to handle her tech. He's also helped her and the rest of the talent be able to appear at conventions and do panels and such, like Anime Expo 2023. One of the things he's known for is creating Unlimited IRL, a company that works to provide the best IRL mobile broadcasts. Best talking point of this is the IRL Backpack, which provides amazing quality streaming. Dog VA utilized this during his cyclothon, and the quality was great. No, this isn't sponsored, but hey, Gunrun, I do need to kick in the ass to go outside more often, so like, call me. I wanted to mainly mention the IRL backpack to just show that Gunrun knows his stuff when it comes to content creation, if being a founding member of Twitch wasn't enough for you. But just knowing things like this isn't what can make someone a good leader. Again, it's how you treat your people, which seems to be a recurring theme of why V Shoujo is so great, huh? I don't think without the support from Gunrun and V Shoujo that Iron Mouse would be able to attend events virtually in person, and that alone just shows the kind of person Gunrun is. I don't really need or want to dig into his history much more, this dude is fantastic in my book and seems to be an excellent CEO, and just a good person overall. I'm a simple man. 
If you treat others well, you're good in my book. And he seems to treat others well and help V Shoujo through any, you know, ups and downs they may have had in the past. Speaking of ups and downs, I did say earlier in the video that I'd mentioned the drama, and here's what I have to say about it. Just shut the hell up. I told you you won't like what I had to say. It's years old, and if you still harp on it and have to bring it up on videos that aren't even discussing that issue or the drama, then that's something you have to figure out for yourself. Take that energy and instead utilize it for something positive. Try to better yourselves instead of worrying about drama on the internet. Fix your own selves and better your own lives. The internet emphasizes drama so much. I try to stay away from it the best I can, because honestly, I find a lot of it pointless and try not to harp on negativity too much, which I think is the healthiest thing for people to do. No one person, group, creator, or business is perfect. Bad things happen, people make mistakes, and people do the wrong thing. Life is not perfect and the world is not black and white. Everyone has things in their past that they cringe about. I do, you do, we all do. Part of growing as a person is move past things like that, learn from them, and grow. Don't condemn a person or a group for some minor drama in the past. V Shoujo has done the best any group can do to power through any drama or negativity. They've moved on from it. You can't stick to negative things in the past. All you can do is learn from it best you can and move forward. No one person or group would be able to grow and move on if they hold on to drama and negativity. I could say this over and over because it's an important mindset to have. That's really all I have to say about any drama as well. It's not something I like to talk about a lot, and one of these Shoujo's strengths is not harp on that. Just more reason for them being the best group out there. Now the drama's out of the way, which I hope that what I said got through to at least one of you out there. We can go into how V Shoujo has grown and will continue to grow in the future. This is again something I touched upon briefly in the previous video. They had started their Japan branch with Henny and Kason leading the way. I'm assuming this could be a difficult market to get into as well, since there are so many other Japan-based talent agencies out there. But again, with how V Shoujo handles things in such a different fashion, and if they keep doing it, then I think they have some amazing growth potential in Japan and across the globe. If they just keep taking care of their talent, giving them freedom, and focusing on supporting them whenever and however they can, then that growth will come naturally, since more eyes beyond them and their best practices will open up more opportunities for other potential VTubers to join in, or even more collaborations. I know their growth won't be for everyone, since there are people out there who only like the more quote-unquote traditional way that talent groups work, which is fine. Hey, to each their own. No one has ever required or expected to like everything, but in this specific case, I think their growth potential is unbound as long as they keep treating their people well, and most importantly, having fun. Let's talk about that a bit more. Fun. Whenever you jump into a stream or watch a YouTube video, what are you more inclined to watch? Someone just gaming for the sake of gaming, or someone having fun while gaming? Now, obviously the person who's having fun, and that is the simplest reason why V Shoujo is great. This is a topic I didn't touch upon as much as I wanted to on the first video. Whenever you're watching content for one of the V Shoujo members, you're guaranteed to have fun. And hey, if one of the members isn't doing something you're vibing with, usually another one is live at the same time, or they have a VOD or other video you can watch. The potential for you to find something fun is limitless. I think more people should just focus on having fun. Life is crazy enough as it is. Just enjoy yourselves and watch the things that make you happy. Just enjoy life and enjoy the content you're watching. Just have fun with your life. This isn't just something that relates to V Shoujo, Iron Mouse, or VTubers in general. It's any content that you watch. Fun is one of the most important factors for anything that you may watch. Just have fun, y'all. Life is too short otherwise. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you know. If you'd like to see me cover other topics about V Shoujo and its members, then let me know in the comments. If there are enough people watching and enjoying the videos, then I'll make one for each of the members. But I need to know the desire to watch them is there, so please share the video around, like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'm trying to better myself with writing and editing in each video because I eventually want to consistently put out longer and longer videos that are of you know, same quality and better. If you've made it this far, don't forget to join in Discord. Link is down below. And check out this amazingly specific recommended video that the great YouTube algorithm has picked for you right here somewhere. Until next time, keep being kind to each other.